These 120 mm mortars are pounding Tamil Tiger positions. The Sri Lankan army has a huge number of heavy weapons with which they're forcing the rebels back into an ever decreasing area. The army says these are now being used for what they term as defensive shelling when their frontline troops are under threat. Outgoing fire but incoming criticism with claims the government forces have been shelling into the no-fire zone causing civilian casualties. The civilians have been instructed to uh, gather this area for their safety. So at any cost uh, we are not firing to the no-fire zone. But categorically one point I have to say. Can you see these uh, the red dotted these dots? These are the locations that terrorists have fired their guns, uh, especially 130mm guns, from this no-fire zone, within the no-fire zone. Using sophisticated radar tracking equipment, which we were not allowed to film, the Army claims that since January the 16th, the Tigers have fired 250 times from the zone, and even though the military has suffered casualties, they say they have exercised restraint. It's impossible to independently verify claims of the army or the Tamil Tigers. The military advance seems relentless. Every day they are pushing the rebels back, but at times their resistance is strong, though their list of options is weak. You could hear the sound of shells fired over our heads and bullets fired just ahead as the two sides engaged in close quarter fighting. This is the last forward position of this unit. We're now 300 metres away from the Tamil Tiger lines. Units of commandos are now engaging those units of the Tamil Tigers. We're hearing the small arms fire, the machine gun fire and the shelling going on. Now this unit says it's taking territory at the rate of 600 metres to a kilometre every day. They say the Tamil Tigers are very much on the retreat. <laughs> How long have you had this point for now? Did you get this yesterday or the day before? Last night. Last night. Last night, last night, last night yeah. Ah, yeah. Again, once they have gone and captured the area, then the people move will head and they will deploy. No, no engaging. No engaging. Yeah. Now small teams have been yeah. move ahead. Behind the soldiers, evidence of the speed of the Tigers' retreat. At this nearby house, meals for at least 80 rebel fighters lying on a bed and behind the building, a place used for treating the wounded, bloody bandages and syringes lying in the dirt. In this area, the army claims they are killing around 15 Tiger fighters every day. The Tiger's infrastructure, military and administrative, is being destroyed. This was an office for Tiger's propaganda, photos on the walls of the leaders and fighters who have been killed in battle over the last few years. On the table, the latest edition of the Tiger's official newspaper, showing its cadres and successes. There wasn't time to print more than the front page. Time seems to be running out, and the outcome of this bloody war could be determined in the next few days. The next four days will be very crucial. Uh, if the civilians come out, then uh, it will be a matter of a few uh, days for the total defeat of LTT. A military solution may be, but for now there seems no solution for the civilians trapped between two sides, one desperate for victory, one desperate for survival. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Dharmapuram, Northern Sri Lanka.